the fuck like I'm with today. Flying beast is wow. just a car flying. There's no way that you can troll past me like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Iron Beast. Yeah, yeah bloody yeah, beast. Like, this scene is going to fly past me. <laughs>
let's say we've got a favorite trailer like we're doing now so we've added the dolly on we've saved that file out and then we also need to go up to the corresponding body file so there's the double drop sii there's the double drop body file open that up and you can see we've got the trailer body set for double drop and again that's just called double road train drop in the game menus so you can see here there's a a no body or a blank body placeholder for the dolly so we just want to copy that and paste that in so now we've told the game that you've got a dolly at front with no body then you've got the freighter one body a dolly with no body and then the second trailer is the freighter one body as well you'd save that out as well and now you've got your configuration sorted because you're not creating a whole new trailer with triple or quadruple or five or six trailers you don't have to worry about editing the trailer definition at all because in your trailer definition if we go and have a quick look up here to the trailer depths and you can just track that through trailer def there's trailer def we're in the trailer defs and we're looking for freighter double drop freighter double drop and this here is our uh, trailer definition for that configuration of trailer and you haven't changed that all you've done is add a dolly in so we have got one thing you might want to change if you're going to do quite a bit of hauling i mean these are untouched by me because this is just to show you what to do we would want to add a the fourth axle in or should i say the dolly axle in so if we have a look so we've got the chassis here and we've got our dolly at front so we really want to add in the mass and everything offset for that extra set of axles so if we copy that and this is just going to make sure your trailers track properly and all the rest of it so we add that in now your mass ratios they need to add up to one so now we've got our total mass ratio of one across all four sets of axles so that's going to be your dolly one that's going to be the axles for your trailer one that's going to be dolly two axle set and that's going to be the rear axles on the second trailer you can see here the gross trailer weight limit is like crazy over the top you'd want to limit that back down too and go through edit it to make it a bit uh, more how you want it uh, the volume doesn't change because the decks cargo mass is still the same you don't need to change that and you just change the axles i'm not sure if that needs to be in there but i'd change it just to be consistent so you'd just add in the two extra axles so that would go to 10. okay so we can save these out so we'll go save our slightly edited trailer depths that's saved come back here and make sure that our chassis configuration is saved we want to also save our body set configuration okay so if we go back into the game there are tsa trailers right there so it's just my edit version of the original trailer and we'll have a look at our new trailer configuration so you can see i'm still testing everything in the project australia map it's a nice flat map let's quickly go in here and check that our configuration works so we've got double road train this is our new road racer road train and she is all good to go with a simple sii file edit to give us a dolly at the front so we can connect onto the back of any box track but in this case the rv so let's just put my favorite color on here for the moment purchase that bad boy now we have our new road train configuration we've got cargo that we can now put on and haul all right guys so you can see that we've got our trailer so there we go we've got our rear trailer with our axles we've got that weight mess sort of spread properly across these axles there's our dolly there and of course our front dolly so we can connect up and it's the same as the other trailer combo i just showed you where the dolly isn't quite lined up i may go in there and just lift that hitch up a little bit it doesn't cause any collision problems that i've found as long as you're not going off road you should be pretty good i've run this on the australia map here and it's handled just fine i'm running the jc engines so i've got a lumpy i think it is n14 
You can hear that collision there, but that's just from the chassis. It's a long, um, obviously it's a pretty long track. You can see it's a very nice looking combo. Beautiful. He's in. There you have it, guys. Nice and easy, just like that. A quick edit of your SIO file, and you have gone from a trailer that tows behind a normal semi to a trailer that can tow behind a box truck, or in this case, the RV. Nice and simple, easy process. And that's all there is to it, guys. So very easy. You can go into your own uh, trailer files, have a look for a trailer that already has a dolly, and then add that dolly into your configuration at the front of the trailer, ahead of the first trailer, then go into the body set. If you've got a body reference which is empty, add that to the front of your trailer configuration as well for the body set. So you'll have the body which is empty. Body for trailer one, body for the dolly which is empty, and again body for trailer two. Then jump through and make sure your trailer defs are okay. Trailer def, make sure that that corresponds to the new edit that you've made, adding in the extra set of axles. Okay, and then you're good to go. That's all there is to it. And then if you want to go a step further, like I say, and actually add a full edit and make your own chain type, you can. Have a play around with that. It's just trial and error. If the game crashes or it doesn't show, you know you've done something wrong. But I recommend if you're not really going to be doing a whole lot of playing around and editing files, and this is just a one-off, so you can pull your favorite trailers behind the RV. I'd recommend all you do is what I said there and just implement the dolly and the empty body into an existing trailer file of trailers you already like the format or configuration for, and then you're good to go. And then back up your files, of course, and then swap them back later when you've had enough of playing around behind the RV. There are also a lot of trailer mods out there um, already have a dolly in them. So you can just find those trailer mods as well and just hunt around, and find some, put them on. But I find it's easier if you've got a favorite trailer just to do an edit yourself because then you know exactly how it's going to run. As long as there's a configuration in there that already has a dolly, then you know that all the dolly files and the model for the dolly are in that mod pack already. Then it's easy enough for you to just add a dolly at the front of your configuration and you're good to go. So anyway guys, I hope this video has helped you out. Look forward to seeing um, what you come up with. Feel free to hit me up in the Discord or comment below as well. I'd love to see what you do out there with your configurations behind that RV. I think the RV is a really cool mod. As I mentioned, anything that was in the video, I'll link in the description below. Feel free to check that out. Feel free to like this video if it was of any help to you. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. Your support always helps me out. But until then guys, keep those wheels rolling. Keep on trucking and take it easy.